This is the uh, Nyko Packer review. It's uh, the uh, stove I use in my uh, Lux X Peak XL uh, winter TP. The stove is now what Lux sells for their stoves. Uh, this is uh, from Cabela's or Bass Pro. It is just over $200. Um, I'm doing this review separately instead of doing it inside the tent right now. It would uh, uh, boil me alive inside. So I'll do it out here in the backyard. Um, I do not have the attachments for it. The attachments are a water tank or a uh, removable shelf. They attach on to these sections here. So you can put the water tank on this side or this side. Uh, they are interchangeable. Uh, the firebox is 21 inches. It is just shy of 10 inches uh, deep. It is shy of 10 inches wide. It's around, yeah, it's around 10 inches wide. Uh, the firebox is a, a good size inside. I got a, a pot of water on here. We'll see how fast it boils. It has a 10 foot chimney. I do keep it the full length. Uh, it gives me a better draw up the uh, flue. And when I have my tent set up with the Spracker restaurant, it keeps uh, the chances of uh, sparks and cinders coming down. Use the furrow rod to get it going. Now I put a false bottom in this stove. I put the false bottom in that way it prevents burnout through the bottom of the stove. I took a piece of stainless steel sheet metal, cut it to the size, and I added a half an inch uh, on either side of it. That way I could bend it down. That way it sits up off the bottom a bit. It allows airflow in underneath the fire, as well as preventing it from uh, burning the bottom of the uh, stove out. Again, uh, a lot of uh, smaller stoves you have to chunk down the wood uh, a lot smaller they won't hold a full piece of firewood the uh, Nyko Packer does allow you to have bigger pieces of wood uh, to put into the uh, fireplace therefore it's a longer burn time you can have a nice bit of coals in there and it saves you a lot of uh, gathering like I said you know if you can put a larger piece of wood in it's nice, it'll burn longer and keep it going. The Nyko Packer has a nice draft on the door. A nice one here on the pipe. And very nice uh, door latch. Very well constructed. The legs fold under. So to level it out, you just place uh, you either level level at the ground, or you place some uh, rocks or uh, logs underneath of it to level it up on the uh, ground itself. And open up the damper a bit. It's smoking. That's a good sign. The amount of smoke coming out of it is due to the uh, softwood I'm burning on the inside of it. I'm not going to use up the good hardwood just uh, over here on a day like today. I probably won't even use uh, much more than just kindling to uh, boil the teapot. The heat that's coming off this right now is a little bit overwhelming. As you can see, you can get quite the flame inside. So it doesn't take much for it to uh, cook anything or boil water. 
along with the bigger uh, top to it. The bigger top to the uh, stove itself allows you to put a bigger frying pan on and you can put a tea kettle on at the same time while cooking. So you don't have to take one pot off, put another one on. This here allows it, uh, this here allows for uh, more uh, cooking space. Again, beautiful little stove. It's only been a couple minutes since I had this going. Not boiling yet. Again, I put this in my Luxx Peak XLTP. The Lux is from the United Kingdom. They sell the 3M stoves, which are collapsible, and you just uh, slot them together. Again, you have to use uh, smaller uh, pieces of wood. I'm using full-size pieces of wood in here. It's a little bit heavy, but once I put in my uh, sled and tie everything down, it doesn't make a lot of difference uh, dragging this behind a sled. If you're canoeing, throw this in a canoe nah, along with your tent and away you go and you'll do uh, just fine. Now that it's heated up, the smoke's not as bad, but it's still not clear. If it was burning hardwood, it would clear up. It wouldn't be so smoky, but it's not too bad. I guess you want the neighbors to call in the fire department on me which has happened. Now what I use to uh, get the uh, birch bark going, I use the uh, ferro rod with striker from Light My Fire. In my kit though, I do have a Culligan's magnesium rod. And I do have the uh, magic striker. It has a bigger ferro rod, bigger striker, but I had no issues with them. The Light My Fire does have a smaller uh, furrow rod on it, but it's good to come outside, practice, and uh, get your skills, you know, down pat before you go to the woods. Yeah, and uh, I always carry a backup, matches or lighter, but this is what I get in my uh, fire starting kit. So I put four. Uh, chunks of kindling on. I won't put no more wood on. It won't take that much to uh, get this uh, teapot boiling. As you can see, it has a wicked fire inside. And if I used uh, hardwood, you know, a full size length of it inside a winter tent, oh my god, it'll be just sweltering inside. But the false bottom, the uh, bottom I made for it, it works great. Uh, let me see the teapot here. It's been on roughly four and a half minutes. You can hear the water just cranking. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's starting to hiss. And it's only been four minutes. And I have it filled right up as far as I can. You can see the heat. It's uh, making the kettle just wobble. But I'm just using uh, four pieces of kindling. This is not uh, fully loaded up with wood. So let's see if uh, that little bit of wood on here uh, can get this uh, teapot boiling. This is the Nyko Packer Stove Review. Be sure to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. There'll be lots more uh, gear reviews, outdoor Odin's hikes, camping, um, solo camping, canoeing, so uh, stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Uh, yes, it has taken a while to boil the water. Granted, I probably have a bigger pot than what I need for a boil test. So for the amount of water I have in that pot, I probably have over a liter and a half. So, you know, it, th that's understandable. That, that's not too bad. So in total, I used eight pieces of kindling. So remember, that's not big pieces of wood. So eight pieces of kindling. 
it's still going. And here's what I have. It's boiling in that pot. And it's ready for a couple of nice tea bags to go in. If I'm going to be using this outside, I might as well enjoy it. But this is the uh, Nyko Packer stove review. Again, I highly recommend this stove. It's a beautiful stove. Uh, the weight of it is around 10 pounds. The firebox is around 21 inches long. It is 10 inches wide, 10 inches deep. A 10 foot stack, it has a smoke arrestor on it. It does come with other options that can attach to the sides of it. You can go with two water tanks, you can go with two shelves, or you can do a shelf and a shelf uh, on one side and a water tank on the other. Uh, it's endless. But this is a slick little stove, so well constructed. To the dampers, to how it's uh, welded together. You can buy the false bottoms for them. I made my own, it was cheaper, it's easy enough to do. But again, this is the Neko Packer, and I hope everyone enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.